It seems to me on the whole that there's a tendency to equate classic theism with Thomas, since he's such a giant that you just assume that if we want to maintain immutability, aseity, all of these classic doctrines of Christian orthodoxy, and Thomas has been known as such a giant and critical defender of these things, it's easy to elide those two together, to use Thomas as sort of a metonymy. You know, he, he ends up being like a synecdoche for orthodoxy, or at least traditional orthodoxy, which we reject. Now, there's a lot of excellent argumentation in Thomas, but I think also his metaphysics, his Trinitarian theology, certain things, is it has some, some weaknesses and some issues. And I think a lot of uh, Reformed Thomas, if there is, you know, if that's possible, but there are Reformed people, confessing people, uh, that you know, would still call themselves Thomas, I think they're falling short on their appreciation of Thomas because they're not seeing his true genius in his entire system and how it all fits together. And people want to pull out his doctrine of God while rejecting his sacramentology or rejecting uh, the doctrine of the beatific vision and the self-communication of God, uh, participation in God to the fullest extent, such that it ends up in some form of uh, divinization, not by subsistence, but by participation. And people say, well, we don't like that, but we we appreciate his metaphysics here, his essentialism and, uh, and his doctrine of God, which upholds orthodoxy. Well, my opinion is you're selling Thomas short because he's way more brilliant and intelligent and has a well, a much more developed system than you are giving him credit for. He, he cannot be taken piecemeal. Uh, he's thought this through and his metaphysics is thoroughly throughout the entire system and it and their necessary entailments of that system. Exactly. So the other thing is that people don't like Van Til, I think, because they haven't spent time to understand what Van Til is actually saying. Now, I know people get upset and they say, well, all the Van Tilians always say that no one ever understands Van Til. Well, maybe that's Van Til's fault. All right. But let's <laughs> Give him credit. I think the problem with why that story persists throughout the ages and sadly is getting worse, at least for the moment, and we're trying to combat this, is because there have been poor interpreters of Van Til, people that have understood Van Til on some points, but then when it comes to the doctrine of God, have compromised uh, immutability, aseity, simplicity, these other things, and to name names, we've named them before, Dr. Oliphant and Dr. Frame have not helped the Vantillian cause on this point at all. They do not, uh, at the end of the day, understand what Van Til meant by the self-contained ontological trinity. And that, to me, is the whole crux of the matter. That We follow Van Til here at Reformed Forum insofar as he is following after Calvin, and Calvin was so keen on the autotheos of the Son, the fact that the Son does not receive his divinity in, as a derivation from the Father. You know, the Son is begotten, and his personality, in a sense, is communicated, but not his essence. And the same for the Holy Spirit. They're autotheos, and when we understand those, that the Son is rightfully and directly God himself— same with the Spirit, and that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit relate to one another perfectly and exhaustively through perichoresis, as developed by Van Til, as developed by Bavink, and many others before them. I think that's a much better and much more robust and sustainable doctrine of God that does hold to the Orthodox and Catholic notions, small c Catholic notions of simplicity, immutability, aseity, without the, the faults, the fault lines that we find in, in Thomas Aquinas. There's a lot more to be said, but I would say that's, that's the big issue and the distinction between what our faculty here at Reform Forum are presenting as a Vantillian Catholic orthodoxy versus what other interpreters of Van Til have presented as tending toward modernistic views or modernist views of the doctrine of God, which I do not think represent Van Til faithfully. No, it, it's if you read Van Til, as you've already said, Canton, his reference to the self-contained ontological trinity uh, is itself overthrown by mutual, what what uh, our, our brother uh, James Dolezal has called theological mutualism. 